our way to Lassen Volcanic National Park. The to-do list in the park is rather small, but we'll see what we can come up with once we're there. Right now we are at Manzanita Lake. Due to the wildfires, we weren't sure if we were gonna be able to hike. We've got a scenic drive as always, but for hikes we have, I think, two different options. One option is Bumpus Hell. Another one is to climb to the top of Lassen Volcano. It's an active volcano in the park, it goes above 10,000 feet. I'm gonna push for that one. I hope Amber is up for it. She's looking really excited for it. I didn't schedule a hike for today's itinerary. I got my dress on. We're at Lassen Peak Trailhead. We're gonna attempt it. Five miles round trip, 2,000 feet of gain. Should take us about three to four hours. Ooh, this is sandy. So with 2,000 feet of gain and two and a half miles, that's kind of the uh, max that we're comfortable with, a thousand feet of gain per mile. You are walking uphill for sure the whole time. This is an active volcano. I don't know how active. The last eruptions were in 1914 and 1915. I don't, I don't expect one today. How far have I made it? One mile. Oh, that's it. 20 and 29 minutes. Whenever Amber gets tired, end of a run, any kind of a hike. To make it easier, she runs it. To get it over with faster. Different kind of philosophy, I guess. Maybe running's not the best idea. I think I'm gonna pass out. <sighs> you can still see in the distance back here, all the smoke from the wildfires. And if you turn the other direction, it's much more blue. All these rock formations pushing up and out those were all formed by the magma and steam and the pressure from the volcano pushing the rock up and then all the rock around you that's all broken is from ice build up freezing cracking the rock and it all tumbles down the slope This is a really exposed hike, so you can see all the way down and all the way up. And it's really not fun seeing the little people up top knowing that you still have that far to climb. We like surprises. It gets a little loose and rocky. not have been entirely clear but I didn't exactly want to go on this hike today 
no reason in particular just wasn't feeling it because of this I'm trying to get this over with as fast as possible therefore we're gonna run down this volcano how today turned into not doing a hike to us running down a volcano. You just never know where your day may end up. But we feel great. This is the exercise we didn't know we needed or wanted. And overall, I think we're both really pleased that this is what we decided to do today. managed to run down in less than 30 minutes. That was fun. So a little less than five miles. We did it in two hours. It did take us a solid hour and a half or so to get up. So maybe 30 minutes to get down, 25 minutes, because we sat in eight at the top. That doesn't, wait, that includes the rock portion that we walked down? Yeah. Can you see it? So that's the peak we just climbed. This is Lake Helen. It's named after the first woman to climb Mount Lassen. She did it in a dress. <laughs> that's insane. Our next and final stop is Sulphur Works. We're about two miles away. You can definitely smell it. According to this here sign, heat loving microorganisms called thermophiles. The thermophiles turn some of the gases into sulfuric acid, which melts the rock and eats away at the rock. It's also what creates all the sulfur smell. Sulfur smell is a byproduct of everything that's happening. So we entered through the northwest entrance of the park. Honestly, it wasn't very pretty until we hit Lassen Peak, which was like 20 miles into the park. And since we've left Lassen Peak, we've seen some of the best views in the whole entire park. So my recommendation is to enter from the southern end and you work your way into the park that way and go as far as you want. We have come to the end of the road here for our trip at Lassen Volcanic National Park. Our next stop is Yosemite National Park. It's a five hour drive. There are still wildfires surrounding us now and on our way to Yosemite. Things could get complicated. Along with COVID and the other restrictions that has put upon entering parks, needing specific permits, going at certain times, we'll explain all of that once we get to those parks. We are not gonna have free reign over the parks here in California for the rest of our time here. It's kind of unfortunate, it gives us something else to come back to, uh, but that's the reality of the world right now. And so we just kinda have to go with the flow just like we have been for the rest of the trip. Dragging Ron away as easily as though he were a rag dog. Then out of nowhere.
Nathan and I have found ourselves in Reno, Nevada. We tried to go to Lake Tahoe National Forest, but that campsite did not work out in our favor. This seemed like the next best option because we do want to work for the next few days and we always need to be near a city to make that happen. The BLM land just north of Reno is a little hard to get to. The descriptions just didn't do it justice. So actually a pretty cool spot. I like it. This is our cozy little camp spot right outside Reno, Nevada. Who would have known? BLM land in between a big O city and a Walmart where you can't park overnight. I'm cool with it. I like it. We will see you at Yosemite.